The libertarian non-aggression principle holds that the initiation of force, aggression, is automatically illegitimate. I got that from Wiki, actually, but if anyone wants to dispute it or correct it, uh, I'm free to, uh, to be corrected. Okay, well, the interesting thing about that is it's held to be something new somehow, but I don't really think that it is. I think that that principle is as old as civilization itself. If there's nothing inherently libertarian in it. Uh, if there's a fist fight in the schoolyard, the, one of the first things that the school teacher does is who started it, says who started it. Let's find out who the, the initiator of all of this is. So I don't really think that that's anything earth-shattering, this non-aggression principle. Um, now, one doesn't have to be earth-shattering to make a profound point, let's be honest. Uh, there's you know, no, no reason that we shouldn't actually emphasize something that people already actually believe in. However, um, the devil is, as they say, in the details. What constitutes aggression? Who is the aggressor? Uh, my example that I've been dealing with here is the case of taxation. The thinking goes, well, if I don't pay my taxes or if I decline to hand over my uh, property to whoever, uh, then they will aggress against me. Ah, actually, if you don't actually want to pay your taxes or if you don't want to pay taxes, period, the um, what happens next isn't actually a bunch of armed cops show up at your door. You're issued a pile of papers, uh, tax liens, uh, summonses, that sort of thing. There's very little aggression involved in any of it. In fact, usually at the beginning there's none, but always um, you understand that these are just steps that ultimately lead to a bunch of bailiffs showing up at your house or policemen with handcuffs. Well, okay, that doesn't automatically mean, though, that taxation is theft. Uh, or taxation is aggression because it can lead to it, yes, but it isn't the same thing. Now, the reason why I want to make that fine distinction is if taxation is illegitimate because it's ultimately guaranteed by coercion, by force, what isn't illegitimate. Freedom is ultimately guaranteed by coercion and force. Anyone thinking otherwise uh, hasn't studied their history. Anyone thinking otherwise has, in my opinion, a hopelessly idealistic view of the human race. What are guns for? I own a gun, let's say, which I actually don't, but let's say an individual owns a gun. Okay, well, that puts a latent violence into everything that individual does because if anyone disputes anything with him, he has a gun. Is that person an aggressor? Not necessarily. He hasn't done anything with it. If you don't mess with the guy, there won't be any aggression. But he is the one who decides whether or not he's being messed with. He in a sense, has become judge, jury, and yes, executioner. Who decides what is aggression? And if we are given that much latitude to decide as individuals, on a case-by-case -case basis, what aggression is, what isn't aggression? Thank you.